In this section, we're going to be covering how to create and test a directive using unit tests and how a directive becomes part of end-to-end -end testing. In this first video, we're going to be creating an accordion directive. An accordion user interface displays panels that can be switched between by clicking on a panel title. Before we start writing our accordion directive, we need to find out how we want to use it. We open the Select Pizza template and we pretend that the accordion directive already exists. We create a panel with the title Special Deal that contains some text. The H2 element contains the accordion panel title. The div contains the body of the accordion panel. We create a second panel titled 25% off vegetarian pizza. The title is in the H2 element and the body of this panel is in the div. Now to start writing our accordion directive. First, we create the directory where directives will be stored. Then we open accordion directive.js and start writing our directive. First, we make the directive part of the pizza store module. Second, we name it accordion. Then we start setting the options for the directive. We restrict it to E which means we can only use the directive as an HTML element. We set transclude to true because we want the accordion directive to display whatever is contained within it in its template. The scope is set to an empty object because we don't want to inherit the directive's parent's scope. This is also known as an isolate scope. When a directive has an isolate scope, it can be used multiple times on a page. For example, we could have more than one accordion directive used on the page. Moving on. The template of the directive will define inline because it's basic. We want the accordion element to display whatever HTML is inside of it. Now we get to the good part, the link function, where we code what will happen when the accordion element is created. We will find all div elements and set their CSS display attribute to none. This means all panels will be closed. Then we will bind the click event to all panel headings. When a user clicks on a heading, we will close all the panels, and then we will find the panel div element which is next to the heading in the HTML, and then we will set the CSS display attribute to block. This will display the panel div element right beside the heading element. Add the directive JavaScript file to the index.html file. Now that we've done that, we can run the Angular dev server and load up the site in a browser and see the result. When we click on a heading of a panel, the panel div shows up. Great, this is what we wanted our directive to do. We aren't going to write unit tests for the accordion directive in this video, but we'll add the accordion directive JavaScript file to the Karma configuration file. In this video, we went over how to create a directive. We did this without the benefit of testing. At first, it's pretty easy to test a directive manually in the browser for the happy case where everything works, but it's also pretty easy to miss things and not fully test the directive. 